Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I will be doing the second part of my favorite forging toys video. Uh, I did a first part with my five favorite forging toys for the cage, so if you haven't checked that out, I will have that linked in the description, so you can check it out if you want. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to be going over my five favorite forging toys for free range time. Number five on the list is the Ethical Pets Seek and Treat toy. Uh, this is a dog puzzle toy, and you have two main options here. The first are some cups you put treats in, and there are some sliding pieces that go over them, and so your rat will have to slide the pieces around in order to get to the treats, which you will put in the cups. And the other option are these two little doors. Uh, in order to get inside, your rat is supposed to roll back the switch next to the doors, and they will do this some. Some of my rats have really enjoyed doing this, but they may also figure out that they can just pick up the doors uh, from the cracks around them, which is something that my rats have also figured out. So yeah, those are the two activities in this toy, and they're a lot of fun for the rats to do. Uh, I tend to bring this toy out quite a bit, actually, because I find it's one of the sturdier and easier to use toys. Uh, in terms of the human, I mean, because it's very easy to clean, very easy to quickly take it out. There's no pieces that can fall out, and you can just fill some treats in there and put it in front of your rats, and that's it. They can immediately go to town on it and enjoy themselves. So it's just a really fun little toy and definitely one of my favorites to bring out to free range. Now the number four slot for our free range toys is the Audison Forging Puzzle Toy. And this one is really cool. It basically has two forging aspects like the previous toy. Uh, in this case, the two options are, first one is a bone which your rat can pick up and you can put treats under it. And when your rat picks up the bone, they can get to the treat underneath. And the second option are these little red boxes and you put some treats inside and your rat has to lift the lid either by picking it up with their mouth or pushing it with their paws in order to get to the treat inside. So yeah, this is a really cool little toy, and like the ethical pet one, it's very easy to just bring out and put some treats in and let your rats go to town. Now the next forging toy on my list is a little bit strange because it's not really a forging toy per se, uh, but I use it as such, and that is the cat toy tower. Basically, it's just a cat tower, uh, three levels, with some balls in it, and three of the balls have some slits in them, so you can put some treats inside, and you can also put some treats behind the balls, and basically your rat just has to push around the balls to get the treats out, and, well, it's just a really fun activity. I mean, even if I don't put any treats in the balls, the rats really enjoy pushing them around, so I just think that this is a really cool toy, because even when it's not being used as a foraging toy, the rats can still get a lot of activity out of it. Now the next forging toy on our list are forging balls. Now forging balls are basically little balls where you put some treats inside and they only have a very small opening for the rats to get the treats out. And so in order to get the treats out, the rats have to push the ball around and the treats will slowly trickle out. So these are pretty cool because your rat has to learn to actively push the ball and they will learn different methods of pushing the ball and what is the most efficient way to get the treats out. And some of these also have different options in terms of how big the opening for the treats to come out of will be. And so you can kind of make it easier or harder, which is also a nice option. In general, these are very easy for the rats to play with, but they're also a lot of fun and they are great ways of encouraging your rats to be active in the free range area. Now the number one forging toy on my forging toys for free range list is the Trixie Dog Activity Board. Now this is a lot like the two dog activity things above, in that it is a dog foraging toy where you can put some treats inside and your rat has to do all sorts of things to get the treats out. Now I really like this one because it has so many different options for putting the treats in and so many different things that the rats have to do to get them out. Uh, for one thing, you have two drawers, but both of them have different ways of opening. One of them has a string, which your rats can pull to get the drawer out. Another one has a little knob, which your rat can push with their nose, and that will open the drawer on the other side. Uh, sometimes they'll figure out how to open the drawers just by grabbing it with their teeth and pulling, which is really awesome. Uh, on top of this, you have these little Kong pieces, which the rats can knock over to get to the treats underneath. Uh, you also have these sliding pieces, which cover up some cups, which your rats can slide around to get to the treats inside. Uh, on top of that, you have some sliding pieces with some Kongs on top of them, and your rats will need to remove the Kongs in order to slide the pieces, or they have Kongs blocking them and they need to remove the Kongs in order to slide the piece. So just so many different things to do with this forging toy, just a lot of moving parts, and it's a great way to keep them engaged. That's all the foraging toys I have for this list, but like before, I want to give one special mention to an additional foraging toy just because it's so hard for me to choose, and I really like this foraging toy quite a bit. So that is the Gambling Tower. 
This foraging toy didn't really make the list because I think it's a little bit too difficult for rats to figure out on their own for it to be considered the ideal foraging toy. Uh, in order for the rats to use it, there are two different options. The easier option is just to knock over some Kongs on the side and get to the treats underneath. And that's a very easy thing to do. I mean, all the foraging toys above, some of them had very similar aspects to them. And so I don't think that's difficult. I think any rat could figure that out. But the main draw to this foraging toy and the hardest part for rats is that it actually has a foraging tower where there are three levels that you can put some food on. And these are encapsulated in a plastic tube with a top. And each of these levels has a little string on the side that the rats can pull. And once they pull it, the treats will fall down off the level. And once they have pulled the bottom level, then the treats will fall out a little spout and they can eat them. Now, this is a little bit difficult for rats to figure out. Um, I mean, I taught my rat Bean to do it as a trick. And after that, she had no problem doing it for the actual foraging toy. Uh, it's not a hard thing to teach them, but I do still think that it's a little bit different than with most foraging toys where you want the animal to figure them out themselves. So the the fact that there's a little bit more involvement here makes me think of it less of a foraging toy and more of a training slash foraging toy. Uh, but if you do like working with your rats and you would like a little bit of a challenge, then this is a really fun foraging toy. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a happy Friday. Bye!